What is up guys, it's Gage here, welcome to your Buck Dat. And today we're talking about Vendita Denebo, former Viking and the Apples Colt. And yeah, who is Vendita Denebo? I probably not pronounce his, at least his first name incorrectly. Um, but I kind of watched him while I was a Vikings fan a couple years ago. When I moved down here, that's why I became a uh, Bucks fan. Um, uh, that's a story for another time. But, yes, when I was a Vikings fan, I used to watch him. He is a six-round pick by the Menace of the Vikings. He was developed under the Mike Zima regime. And this, and he's a big guy. He's probably like 280 pounds, somewhere around that. Close to 290. Big guy, but he's explosive. That's why he was playing defense tackle, the defense end. And I wrote down some of his big stats. In 2019, and I think he was drafted in 20, 2017. So he didn't really, he was on the practice squad for a few years. Didn't really get a whole lot of opportunity until like his third year of his season, you know, his third year of his career. He had is it seven sacks? Yeah. Seven sacks. Big, big year for him. That was that's pretty fucking uh it's pretty good. It's pretty good. Even I didn't I was like, what? What? This dude, uh, he's my god, he was explosive. Probably, he still is. Even, um, and that's back in 2019. The next season, he had three and a half sacks, and this year, he has three and a half once again. Well, never mind, I skipped 2020. I didn't think he had any sacks the year, the year prior. But, this year, he had three and a half sacks, once again, like he had in 2020, and 2019 was the best year of seven sacks. Dude's explosive. He can play at on the. He can play a defensive end. He can play on the side. He can play interior as well. So Denebo could honestly, they could put him anywhere. But the one thing for me is his formation is most of been four three. I believe we're three four. So it's gonna be interesting how they're gonna play that. So he might not get. He might not get as much playing time as he did it. Minneapolis Colts or uh, the Minnesota Vikings. But I tell you, this dude is pretty damn good. Uh, and he's going to be an important piece because these guys, these guys would make a difference between a Super Bowl or, uh, or a Super Bowl or bust season. Or even have, even make it into the playoffs. These guys make a difference. You're probably saying, what? Are you kidding me? This guy might not even be a starter this year. Yes. You'd be correct, but but injuries happen, as we've seen, and messed us up. Um, Godwin tore his ACL after the injury against the Saints, and Antonio Brown his breakdown that year as well. So injuries come to plate, and these guys like Carl Nasby, now Denebo, these guys will be very important because injuries do happen, and these guys come in key. I mean, key. That's why it's really good to have depth because you just never know what the injuries come. They come very unexpectedly. And if you're not prepared for it, say goodbye to your season. So Denebo, I believe, could be a star, actually. Yeah, if he gets developed good in this defense, finds, uh, finds his groove in the defense, he could potentially be, uh, he could be a big player for us in the future. But he is later in his career, so if he doesn't do it this year, he's probably not going to stay too long. <laughs> That's obvious for any player, but yes. Danabo, this is going to be his uh, prove, it say, prove it year. Hey, man, you got a couple years now. Let's see what you can do. But it's not really going to be like that. It's going to be more depth. That's going to be his That's gonna be his personal goal. Um, but Danabo is, I'm pretty excited. I'm pretty excited to see him. He's actually one of my favorite players on the Mike Zimmer era. And I just, he's going to be a great depth piece. And especially with being a DeVeda injury, I think he's going to come. I don't think he's going to get a whole lot of play, but I think he'll be important. Because especially with Vita's injury and Hicks, we're going to need players like Danabo to step up. 
and I'm just really excited. Even though Todd is not agree, he isn't a good head coach. He is a good defense coordinator, so I believe he'll put Dabo in the best position. But it will be interesting to see him in a new formation, see where he kind of maybe he'll do better, maybe he'll do worse. We'll kind of see how it goes. But this guy, I'm telling you, this guy is under the radar signing. And he had three and a half sacks this year. Like, the guy is still producing. So, it's it's very exciting to see. And, uh, yeah. Yeah, we got uh, we got a winner. We got a winner signing. I'm surprised we were able to get him. He's that good. So, that is Avita da, uh, Odenabo. So, I pronounce his name. Odibo, as I call him. But, anyway, guys. I hope you enjoy this video. Like and subscribe, and uh, I hope you bucked out.